On this episode of Double Nickel Road Trip, Lexi takes me and Eddie George on a Grand Canyon overland adventure that you don't want to miss. Subscribe below. Hey guys, me and Eddie George are heading from Flagstaff to Salt Lake. He doesn't know it, but we are. And uh, I'll see you there. Camping on the Grand Canyon's remote North Rim is the bucket list item we are going to tackle this evening. As the crow flies, the North Rim is only 68 miles distant. But since Lexi cannot leap the canyon's one mile breadth, she'll have to take us the roundabout way darting over 200 miles in a sweeping arc through Ponderosa Pine Forest, Red Rock Base Formations, and Baked Dry Deserts. Right off the bat, we begin our journey quickly descending 3,000 feet from the Santa Fe Peaks and Ponderosa Pine Forest to the bone-dry painted desert of the Navajo Nation. Just 40 miles north of Flagstaff, we finish our descent, and I thought it would be a good idea to quench Lexi's thirst at this fuel stop in the Navajo Nation. Now that we've fueled up, we point northward and cruise the next 70 miles along Highway 89, hugging the towering Red Rock Cliffs of Northern Arizona. As the Vermilion Cliffs pop into view along the distant horizon, we near the halfway point of our journey. As Lexi tacks westward at the base of the Vermilion Cliffs, I am hit with a wave of disappointment that we will not be able to explore the windswept wonders and incredible geological formations of this national treasure. But my disappointment is short-lived as we venture into the desert sun towards the Kaibab Plateau and our ascent to one of the seven wonders of the natural world. How surreal is it that we are about to climb from the sun-baked desert floor over 4,000 feet to the tabletop plateau blanketed in ponderosa pines?
just a few miles from our turn towards the canyon rim, I rode down this forest road and let Eddie George do his thing. Let's go. We hadn't traveled more than a few miles after our turn on Route 67 before the road cut us through what remained of the 71,000 acres that were incarcerated in the 2020 Magnum wildfire. A few miles north of the Grand Canyon's north entrance gate, I decided to call it a night as the sun was getting low in the sky. We found this perfect spot for the night in the vicinity of the canyon's east rim. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. East Rim of the Grand Canyon in Kaibab National Forest at about 9,000 feet, just under. And now ride shotgun with me and Eddie George as we overland the final 21 miles to the North Rim. Hey, Double Nickel Crew, I really hope that you enjoyed this Grand Canyon Overland Adventure. And please join us on the next as we work our way back east, but not before first visiting the Black Hills of South Dakota to set up residency. It's my greatest wish that this episode has earned your subscription. If so, please consider subscribing.